Hello everyone, my name is Bertha and welcome back to my channel. Today we are back in build by mode. I am once again trying something and I'm leaving it up to you to tell me whether I did a good job or not because I tried, okay? But uh, yeah, this is the second part in a collaboration I did with Bailey from the channel Bailey. In the first part we did a 15 minute build challenge and now in the second part I am renovating Beely's result from that challenge and she's going to be renovating mine over on her channel. So if you don't know Bailey yet, she is mainly a builder so she is very good at these kind of things. And she is a lovely simmer, lovely person. If you are not following her, go subscribe to her channel, watch her part of the collaboration and follow her on Twitter. I'm gonna be leaving links in the description so you can go and check her videos out too. As I said, this is a second part in a two-part collaboration, so in case you want to watch the first part, I will leave a link in the upper right hand corner right now and in the description. I definitely recommend you watch it, my video as well as Bailey's, because 15 minute build challenges are so much fun to do and to watch. It is hilarious to see people stress out. So if you want to see me stress out and, you know, not make a good build and laugh about it, this is your chance. Go watch the 15 minute build challenge. But yeah, let's start talking about this build for a second. So as explained, this is the build Bailey made in the 15 minute build challenge and I am going to renovate it to make it hopefully something better. I don't think you really saw the build in the beginning but it was quite empty especially in the master bedroom and the the garden was completely empty as well so the way i decided to go about this was i'm using a lot of cats and dogs items in this build because i know that bailey loves these items so i i let that inspire me and that also kind of inspired the story i had behind this house so the story I had in mind is that here lives a grandma. She is a bit of a stereotypical grandma because she loves knitting and she has a cat and she just loves cats. It's like she's like a real cat lady. And the cat she has, by the way, I imagine is a red cat. And you know, she has grandchildren and she lives in Rindleton Bay. Right now this lot is still placed in Willow Creek, but I will be placing it in Brindleton Bay later. You will see that in, in the video and in the screenshots as well at the end. But yeah, she lives in Brindleton Bay and her granddaughter is from Oasis Springs, like far away. And yeah, her granddaughter, she's a teenager, but she's going to graduate from high school soon. So she'll be going to university, but university is far away from Oasis Springs. So she was like, hey, Gran, you know, I'm going to university, but it is so far away and you live closer. Can I please come live with you? And grandma was like, sure, but only if you let me teach you how to knit. Because this granddaughter, she's very crafty as well, but she doesn't know how to knit and her grandma loves knitting. So she's like, you can live with me as long as you learn to knit. So yeah, that, that was the deal. And now the attic that was also empty in Bailey's version of this build, I transformed that into a kind of like small bedroom slash living room for the granddaughter. So she has her own space upstairs where she can just do her thing and then she'll use the downstairs for the bathroom and the kitchen and you know, everything else. I imagine that attic was like a storage attic because I did add a ladder up there, not like the big stairs because there's no place for big stairs. So I imagine it was just a, a storage attic and now it is turned into a room for the granddaughter. So yeah, that's the story I had in mind. And for the, like the aesthetic, I tried to make the home a bit more what do you call it? Traditional and old fashioned, but not like old and gross and you know, too old, just a bit old fashioned with the wallpaper in the bedroom and the brown colors and stuff. I wanted it to be a typical grandma home, but not like too old. Does that make any sense? I hope it does. I never make builds, so how, how should I know how to describe this home? It's a, it's a grandma home. <laughs> As I said, this grandma loves cats and she also collects stuff so you may have seen in the 
living room I have like all kind of cat little statues what do you call those well little cat statues on the fireplace that she has collected and in the bedroom I will put some shelves with some stuff on it the shelves aren't completely cluttered but I wanted to leave some space for you know future things that she's gonna be collecting and also the bathroom is only accessible through the bedroom which is not ideal but I thought it you know it is it was a one bedroom house and it is also a bit of an old house so to me it kind of made sense to have the bathroom only accessible through the bedroom but um, I know it is not ideal but it's it's the way it's gonna be because that's the only way it worked out for me and I'm gonna have like knitting stuff all over the place like there's balls of wool and other toys and, and knitting baskets all around the house and and I imagine that the cat loves to play with those things and there's also lots of knitted items like the 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 squid the octopus is going to be somewhere and I added the penguin and the turtle to the living room it's all gonna be so cute I am um, I'm pretty happy with this build. It's not something I usually do because I'm usually more of a modern builder. Not that I'm a builder, but if I build, I usually build something modern and this is not modern. So I'm quite proud of myself. Also, something different, but I am super excited because I just got my second screen. Like, it's not a good screen. It's a very old one that my mom got from her work because they were throwing them away and I was like, well, can I have one? And I could, but it has a VGA port thing. And for some reason, the VGA on my computer doesn't work because I have a graphics card with ports for displays and there's ports for displays on my motherboard. But for some reason, the ports on my motherboard don't work. And that's where the VGA is. And on my graphics card, I only have one HDMI, one display port and one DVI. And the screen I have now is in HDMI, so where am I gonna put a VGA, you know? So I couldn't use it, but I recently bought a, um, what do you call it? An adapter from VGA to DisplayPort. So when this video is done, I am gonna try and see if I can use this second screen on my computer. And it's gonna be so exciting because even though for recording and editing it's not necessary because I have quite a big screen it is gonna be so useful for streaming and I want to get more into streaming the last stream I did was Among Us where I played it with some other streamers and non-streamers together and it was such a hassle because I had to click out of the game all the freaking time to mute unmute mute unmute etc you get you get it it was so annoying and difficult and it distracted me and it was not good so if this screen works that means i can put streamlabs obs on the other screen and put the game on my main screen and then you know perfect i can access both of them without having to click out of the one to use the other so I am really super excited to do this upgrade. The next upgrade I want to do to my setup is I want to get some good lighting because the lighting on this current spot is terrible. But because I live in such a small place together with my boyfriend, there is no other spot to put this desk and computer. So this is basically what I'm going to have to deal with. So I'm thinking of buying a light and I'm like, okay, I have very little space. I know that the Elgato key light is very good for saving space, like when you compare it to soft boxes and stuff, and it is good quality. So uh, I prefer investing in good quality products rather than buying cheap ones that aren't too good, you know. But the Elgato key light is so expensive. It's really so expensive. And I'm like, I want it, but can I afford this right now? Even if I can afford it, I'm like, do I want to spend that much money on one light? So yeah, that's the dilemma I'm having right now. If you have the Elgato key light or know someone who has it, let me know your thoughts or their thoughts. Like, is it worth that much money? Because I, I would like to know. Any help is appreciated. 
Also, if you have a light that does a good job and is less expensive than the Elgato key light, also let me know because I am open to alternatives. This voiceover, I am in a bit of a, a time crunch with this video because unexpectedly my guinea pig Luna kind of started to not do so well. So I had to go to the vet a while ago and you know she was being blood and she had a very big lump in her belly. So the vet said she either has cancer which we can't do anything about or she has a bladder infection and her lymph nodes are swollen because of that. And because we can't do anything about the cancer she's now getting antibiotics in case it is an infection to kind of cure that and she was doing so bad so I was like I want to spend more time with her before maybe she like leaves us in a few days you know so I was at my parents place because that's where my guinea pigs live because I can't have them in my own apartment for some stupid reason but yeah so I spent a few days there and you know I didn't have any access to sims or my I didn't have my microphone and stuff so I couldn't really continue making this video while I was there so I kind of lost a lot of time but the good news is Luna is doing better like she first she started doing worse but then since like the day before yesterday she's doing better she is being grumpy again which is her personality so it's coming her personality is coming back she's not just being sad sitting in a corner all the time like she was before she's almost back to her sassy self but the lump hasn't gone so i am personally thinking that she has an infection and cancer which means that we can get rid of the pain that she is you know get rid of the infection and make her feel better but she's probably gonna leave us soon anyway so that's kind of making me sad but i'm okay don't worry if you want to, I I, <laughs> I did a video, actually, I did a Sims video with Luna and also with Maya, my other guinea pig. But if you want to see her personality, like I was saying, like her sassy, kind of grumpy personality, you can watch that video. I'm, I'm linking it in the upper right hand corner and in the description. In that video, I let her make my Sim and it was so much, so much fun to do that video with her. I'm glad I did that. Like, I'll always have that to look back on, you know? Oh, this is... It's not... Ugh, it's making me a bit sad talking about that. So I'm gonna switch topics. So here, I am working on the granddaughter's bedroom. As you can see, I gave her the crafts desk because I said she's crafty. So she has lots of stuff to do her crafts. And she has her own bed couch thing. Oh, the word! The Murphy bed! Yes, that's it. The Murphy bed. And I imagine like her studying books are in the closet behind it. And yeah, she's a, she's a girly girl. Like lots of pink and purple and bright pastel colors. It's a, a really fun room in my opinion. I also chose those um, star lamps because they look like they c could be crafted by the girl herself. You know, I thought that was a really fun idea. So I added those in too. And um, yeah, I just really like this room and I like the octopus. I would like to have it, please. It's really cute. And you just saw me put a rocking chair on the porch because when we go stereotypical grandma, we're going stereotypical grandma. So yeah, uh, I'm going to put some uh, knitting stuff down there later as well. So grandma can, you know, sit on the porch and then do some knitting, talk to the neighbors, you know enjoy the good life. I also added some solar panels to the roof because I thought you know this grandma she may be old but she's not too old to not get what's going on in the world and she wants to do something to combat climate change. So yeah she has solar panels and I also put down a um, swing set because I imagine and, and the kiddie pool because I imagine she has um, smaller grandchildren too who come to visit every once in a while. So they have some fun stuff to do outside in the garden. I didn't really know what else to do with the garden because it is so big and there's like one person, two persons living there. So I had a bit of a tough time with that, but I think it came out 
okay, like I didn't, I, I'm not too happy about the placement of everything, but I didn't know how to do it differently. So I'm adding some flowers here and there's going to be a nice seating area where that bench is placed. So I didn't add a grill. I didn't really think grandma would have a grill for some reason. Like she'd just cook and then put the food outside if they wanted to eat outside. Also, I didn't change much about the outside of the house because I'm not too good at that. And I thought Bailey did quite a good job with the outside. I only changed a few windows to fit my different floor plans. So yeah, that's the only thing I did to the outside basically and, and the solar panels. I also added some lights outside because I really like to make sure that the if I make a big back garden, I want to make sure that it looks very cozy at night too. So I wanted to add some lights and I'm gonna add some trees because I needed to fill space and trees are great. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I did. And under one of the trees, I'm gonna make a little, you know, chill area for the granddaughter. I imagine she maybe wanted to lie in the sun. Well, shade, I should say with the nice weather and you know have a drink and reading her book so this garden kind of has a lot going on you can always do something fun over there i forgot to add maybe some other skill building items but i thought the house was cluttered enough like it didn't need any more items in my opinion so i remember thinking of maybe adding a violin so the granddaughter could play the violin too but for some reason i decided against it don't ask me why i just didn't do it <laughs> we are nearing the end of the video there's gonna be before and after screenshots so if you want to see what the build looked like before and what i turned it into in some nice screenshots go wait for those for now i want to thank bailey for doing this collaboration with me i thought it was so much fun and i want to thank you all for watching this build will be up on the gallery. It is custom content free. Uh, just, just don't forget to turn on the bb.move objects cheat on before you place this lot because otherwise everything will be um, messed up basically. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified whenever I upload. Follow me on Twitch at SimmingBird as well if you want to see me live on stream. I play The Sims 4 over there as well as other games. So go check that out if it sounds like something you'd like. And yeah, that's it. So thank you all so, so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!